in today's review, I'm talking about Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Great Adventure. However, this review will apply to the two other models that are the exact same as this one at Six Flags Great America and Over Georgia. They all have the exact same layout. The only difference is, is that the one at Over Georgia uses the terrain a little bit more to its advantage, but the actual layout is the same. So let's talk about this ride. So this is the B&M Flying Coaster. It sits at a height of 106 feet with a 100 foot drop. And as you can see, it's not a very steep drop at all. This coaster isn't about the drops or the airtime. It's about giving you the sensation of flying. And it achieves that very well. The ride features two inversions, a pretzel loop, and then a couple of bank turns, and then it finally goes into an inline twist where it then hits the brakes. Now some people will ride this and say that it's boring. They don't like how after the pretzel loop it's just kind of a bunch of random turns, and that's it. And I can understand that. This isn't an intense ride. It only goes 51 miles per hour. That's not the point of this ride at all. It is a very graceful coaster. I like that it doesn't go super fast because then it gives you a nice long ride, just over two minutes. But of course, the highlight about this coaster is that pretzel loop. Pretzel loops are probably one of the all-time best inversions ever created. Unlike the bank turns on this ride, the pretzel loop is forceful and it is so cool. It's basically a vertical loop, but for flying coasters. So you start at the top instead of the bottom. It's a very cool feeling. And then the inline twist is fun too. But if you've watched my videos for a while, then you know that I'm a big fan of flying coasters. I like the Vacoma models, and I didn't even think that the Zamperla model was that bad. But the B&M flying coasters are my favorite of the three types that I've ridden. By far, they're better because they are smooth, and even though this thing doesn't have an original layout, it is still a fun coaster. Now, if you're not a fan of flying coasters, then you probably won't like this. It's one of those rides that if you like flying coasters, then you're going to love this. If you don't like flying coasters, then don't ride it. It doesn't even have to do with this specific model. That's the thing with these flying coasters. You either like them or you don't. Now, I haven't ridden any other B&M flying coaster. This is the only one that I have gotten on. So I'd love to be able to try out rides like Tatsu or Manta, because I've heard that both of them are better than this one. But I am still a fan of this coaster. Whenever I go to Six Flags Great Adventure, I try to get on it. It sometimes won't have the best of operations, because it does have that extra step where they have to transfer you from the seed position to flying position. And sometimes they'll take longer than usual, so you could be stuck on the brake run in flying position for several minutes, just staring at the ground. But those are my overall thoughts on Superman Ultimate Flight. For its final score, I am giving it an 8. I think for a flying coaster, it's excellent. Could they have done more? Absolutely. They could have thrown in some of the inversions that you see on Tatsu or Manta. But this isn't a ride that will wow you. It's just pure fun. I love the sensation you get of flying. The pretzel loop is fantastic. It's smooth. I'm a big fan. So I want to hear from you. What do you think of Superman Ultimate Flight or B&M Flying Coasters in general? Post all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to stay tuned for more coaster reviews. And if you're new to my channel, you can check out a playlist where I have all of my reviews that I've ever done. And they're all in alphabetical order. So make sure to check that out. And I'll catch you guys next time.